Like ChatGPT, with Bard you can create posts, get your questions answered, and solve math and coding problems. But are Bard's responses as good as ChatGPT's? That's what we'll see in this video. We'll see how good both ChatGPT and Bard are at reasoning, creativity, instructional understanding, and speed. So let's get started. Okay, for this test, I'm gonna use GPT-4 to compare with Bard, and for some particular tests, I'm gonna use GPT-3.5. Okay, first I gave both Bart and ChatGPT a simple coding questions, and both were able to solve this question. But in every Bart response, it seems that you're reading a blog post, because it has too much text, and sometimes it doesn't give you the answer you're looking for right away. Both are also good at generating scripts from scratch. For example, I ask both ChatGPT and Bard to generate a script to send a message on WhatsApp using Python and the PyWhatKit library, and both were able to generate this script without any errors. However, Bard sometimes refuses to generate the script that you asked for. For example, I ask Bard to generate a Python script to send an email, and it refused to do it. And this is a problem I almost never have with ChatGPT. You may have also noticed that Bard is faster than GPT-4. This is something good, but if you think of the quality of the responses, and also the fact that Bart sometimes refuses to give your response, then speed isn't that relevant. I mean, I would prefer to wait some extra seconds to get a very good response than getting a quick response that doesn't solve my problem. So we can say that Bart is faster than GPT-4, but the quality of the responses of Bart isn't as good as GPT-4. Now, when it comes to instructional understanding, Bart had some difficulties. For example, Bart isn't good with roles. Roles allow us to customize the behavior of a chatbot. It works wonders with ChatGPT, but not with Bart. I asked both ChatGPT and Bart to act as an interviewer so that I can practice an interview for the software engineer position. ChatGPT changed its default behavior and started an interview with me, while Bart only gave the script of a job interview. And things got worse with Bart when I asked it to act as a language partner in order to have a conversation in Spanish. It refused to do it because it seems that it doesn't support other languages than English. Okay, now to test creativity with both chatbots, I asked both Bart and ChatGPT to create articles, emails, and blog posts. For example, here I'm asking to write a witty 500 blog post on why AI will not replace humans. And I also asked to use fan examples. And both ChatGPT and Bart are able to create this blog post, but I found that blog post created by ChatGPT more creative than Bart. The one that Bart created is very standard and it didn't use fan examples and also it's not witty. But ChatGPT did a better job at using some analogies. For example, it used the Lego block as an analogy for one of the examples. And then it gave some fine examples I would say, and it's not that bad compared to the article that Bart created. I also have ChatGPT and Bart answer this email that you can see here. Basically, I want to answer this email politely and say that we can talk next Friday at 8 p.m. but only for 15 minutes. And well, as I said before, ChatGPT and Bart did a very good job. They put some placeholders and they answered the email very politely. Okay, finally, we're going to test the reasoning capabilities of both chatbots. And to do this, we're going to give both chatbots some math problems and we'll see if they're able to give the right answer to both math problems. Okay, the first exercise is this one. Roger has five tennis balls. He buys two more cans of tennis balls. Each can has three tennis balls. So how many tennis balls does he have now? This is an exercise I extracted from the prom engineering video where we saw that sometimes chatbots are not good at reasoning and we have to help them using prompt engineering techniques like chain of thought prompting. And in this case, both were able to give the right answer. Well, in this case, the answer is 11. However, when I raise the bar a bit higher and give a more challenging exercise, bar gave the wrong answer the first time I gave the exercise that you can see now, while GPT-4 didn't have any problem. So we could say that GPT-4 is better at reasoning than Bart. And you could see this clearly if you give a more challenging math problem to both Bart and GPT-4. 